This is Twit. Just to be random, Razorblade 14, which is the latest version of Razor's uh, gaming notebook. Uh, this is the 2015 version. Uh, they've kept the M.2 SSD, 3200 by 1800 resolution. Quote, Jeremy Halstrom, unfortunately, they stuck with the glossy panel. Uh, and as someone who has had glossy panels in his life, I understand his frustration with that. Yeah. Um, the i7-4720HQ stays. Uh, GPU has been upgraded with a GTX 970M uh, with three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, and they've doubled the RAM in the machine uh, to 16 gigabytes, quote, at least in the model, which Kit Guru tested. The 14-inch size, Jeremy writes, keeps the weight down to 4.5 pounds. Mm, that just sounds so 1999, uh, but also ensures that the price is high. The 512-gigabyte model is $2,700. So Oof. if you... Uh, yeah, it, you know. <laughs> you need a badass gaming laptop, ladies and gentlemen. Razor says, come bring your credit card. Come bring your checkbook. Come bring your Bitcoin. We have yeah. the laptop for you. And I, I got to say, I, I think, you know, 14 inches is a nice compromise. Uh, I'm a little, you know, probably less enthusiastic about it over a 17 inch laptop compared to the marketing information from Razer, but it's a nice looking piece of hardware. Also a nice looking piece of hardware, which if I'd been really clever, I would have started it uh, several minutes ago. Um, this is uh, the Asus Transformer Book T300 CHI or Chai or Chi probably. Chi, um, yeah. Chi. And I'm going to do something hopefully correctly. <gasps> it's a convertible, kids. Um, I really like this so far. Um, yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm actually, I am probably should finish the review before I crack it open, but they suggested that there, you might be able to actually upgrade it. Um, really clean build. Um, they were very excited about their sort of diamond cut edges on here, which is not going to come through Skype by any means. Uh, necessary or otherwise. Probably not. Probably not. Um, but they're claiming about eight hours of battery life. Um, and it feels good in the hands, like 1.6 pounds and then 2.7 pounds with the keyboard. The keyboard's Bluetooth. Um, it's kind of funny. There's no battery in the keyboard, which is kind of a bummer because I'd love the keyboard to deliver additional battery life. But mm -hmm. uh, it's Core M. It is fanless. And I'm excited to get hands-on with this. SD card for memory expansion, HDMI, uh, USB 3.0 inside of there, um, hmm. and the, the home button, which always makes me happy. When you put it on the <laughs> table with the uh, dock attached, the keyboard attached, does it feel like it's going to tip over? No. In fact, um, let me turn this over here. Watch, oh, you know, I'm in a warehouse... Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it in the name of journalistic something or other. Somewhere around here, there's a laptop. Oh, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to keep my hand down here in case I'm entirely too clever. So I had to whack that fairly hard. Is that as far back as the screen goes? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. But you can also, you know, you can operate it in the... Ah, uh, gotcha. Ah, uh, okay. yes. Okay. Ta-da. So, Ta-da. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's 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 been a while since I've 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 played around with a two in one with a convertible. So mm -hmm. uh, the core M performance seems pretty good so far. As I fling Don't the keyboard it. off, yeah. Don't drop it. <laughs> it's really embarrassing to break the product before the they review might want is it back. Yeah. They probably will want it back. Uh, price is going to be uh, seven hundred dollars, I believe. Um, I will have more information on battery life and performance next week. And before anybody asks, yes, kids, it is a touchscreen because, you know, tablet. It's got to be a tablet. There you go. 